Hey guys, this is Ryan from Lane Warrior Kids, and today we're going to be playing Fallout Shelter, and I'm going to show you guys the basics quickly before you guys hop into it yourself. So, once you launch the game, if you've never played before, you're just going to click Enter Vault right here. If you have played before, you're going to go to this vault list at the top right, and then click New Vault here. Um, once you once you get through that, you're going to basically pick a vault number. This is just kind of the name of the environment you're making. If you have a favorite number or something, you can pick that. If not, it really doesn't matter too much. This shows a little bit of the story of the game. You should definitely go through that to see why you're doing Doing exactly what you're doing but long story short it's a kind of a spin-off of the fallout series and in this game you're building a vault which is an environment underground for people to live in and while you're building this it requires a lot of organization to go ahead and make everything make sense for you and for your citizens that are living there um so once you're thrown into the game, you are you have this giant massive area to build, as you can see. All of this you can build on. And you start with this couple little rooms, basically a vault door and some elevators, and a list of people to the left as well that want to enter your building. So we're going to start off by going ahead and clicking this little hammer at the bottom right. And we're going to start off by building a living quarters, which is the first option. Um, you're going to notice that it costs credits, 100 credits to start off to build your first living quarters as well as as there is statistics to each room as well you see there's a bunch of rooms we're going to start off here click build and then this is where a lot of organization comes into play we're going to pick a place that really makes sense for us i'm looking right at the top right so when people enter they can walk right into the living quarters that pop-up up here basically said i have a living quarters down now but it's dark in there i don't have power to power it or to give anything to it so i'm going to follow that up as well as you can see, it's at the top by that red little lightning bolt um, saying that I don't have power. Um, I'm going to follow that up by building a power generator. Something we're going to take note into as well is that um, with the power generator, strength is associated with it. So when we eventually get someone in there to maybe work and get the power going, we're going to want them to be strong. We're going to place the power generator, maybe underneath the living quarters, maybe make this row power generators or something. I think that makes sense to me. And yeah, next up, we're going to want to start filling this place with people. Um, if we remember that the power generator, it was associated with strength, as I can see at the bottom left. So I'm going to go over my people over here that want to enter my vault. And if you click on each person, you're going to notice that different people have different stats. Um, the first guy I clicked on, Justin Baker, if I click on him and I click on his statistics, he's five strength. That's pretty good. I'm going to pick him up, drag him all the way to the right, and drop him down into my um, power generator room. Basically meaning he is now a citizen of my vault and he's going to work in the power generator room. Um, as well as um, my living quarters can fit up to two people. And um, if I remember correctly, um, the living quarters... Um, it was it's a, it was about charisma. Yeah, the stat that goes with living quarters is charisma. So I'm gonna um, click this gear at the top left, and this is kind of an easy way to view all the people that want to enter my vault. Um, look at second up is um, Henry Barton. Henry Barton over here has a lot of charisma. He has three charisma, so he's gonna be my second person to go and enter my vault as well. Um, so I'm gonna throw him into the living room. One thing I'm also noticing, now that I have a couple people organized where they're supposed to be, um, and I have the rooms kind of that make, in a place that makes sense to me, um, I realize that I don't have um, my, my food and my water are red. So I'm going to have to go to my hammer, um, go ahead and now make a diner and make a water treatment area, and start to go ahead and place them in places that make sense to me. They can maybe put the diner um, over here on the left. Um, and then eventually fill that with somebody that has a lot of agility as well. As you can see, this is kind of the start of the game. I don't want to ruin it too much for you. Um, but as, as you can see, it requires a lot of organization, where people go, how you want to structure your rooms. And um, yeah, the game is awesome. There's a lot of different things to this game. We haven't even covered, including items for people, happiness levels, um, a lot of different buildings you can build. You can let people go out of the vault, um, explore and bring things back. And yeah, hopefully um, you guys learned a little bit to at least get you going in the game. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and see you in a bit. Have fun. Bye.